Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. This video will be a Flowerth tutorial. I'm going to start with what Flowerth actually is and then jump straight into a hands-on build. Flowerth is an AI creation workspace built around an infinite canvas, not a linear chat. You simply drop nodes on a 2D board, branch ideas, compare models side by side, and then turn drafts into finished docs. It is an extremely powerful tool that you can build, not babysit a single chat thread. Now under the hood are three big pieces, the canvas or flow mode, an autonomous agent system, agent neo slash oracle, and a knowledge garden that lets the AI work with your files and your notes. If you would like to follow along as I explain in this video, feel free to navigate to the link in the description below this video and get started with Flowerth for free. Out of the three big pieces, the canvas matters because you can run multiple models such as GPT-40, Claude 3.5 or 4, image models like Doll-E and Stable Diffusion in the same workspace and remix outputs without losing context. This tool is built for longer, messier work content, research, planning, where linear chat falls apart. The second piece, Agent Neo, is the autonomy layer. You give it a higher level goal. It breaks down the work into steps or recipes, picks tools like web search and page readers, adapts if something fails, and keeps going until the job is done. You can watch the plan evolve and nudge it as needed. Now, the knowledge garden is your second brain. Upload PDFs, notes, or links, and Flowith decomposes them into small seeds, connects concepts, and lets the agent pull precisely what's relevant, reducing hallucinations and keeping outputs on brand for your niche. As of right now, Flowith uses a credit system, agent mode, oracle or neo, consumes a step-based quota, while your uploaded knowledge primarily counts towards storage. We're going to check the billing page later on for exact plan details. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial of building a working agent in just minutes and how you would go on about it. So essentially, we can build something useful like a content plus research agent that one, searches a topic, and then two, drafts a blog outline with SEO angles, and then three, produces a publishable version that you can refine. The first step would be to create a canvas and then turn on agent mode. For that, you want to sign up and then open a new canvas. In the top controls, you want to switch agent mode to on. That enables planning, tool use, and replanning. Think of this as moving from ask slash answer to goal, plan, execute. Now, two toggles to set before you start. We have the output length, so you can set it to short while scoping. This will be cheaper on the credits and faster on the results, and then bump to long when you want full drafts. The second one is the knowledge base toggle, so this one would be off for generic tasks and then on if you have uploaded brand docs or research that you want the agent to use. A quick tip I would give you is to configure these first as it's easier to spend credits intentionally than to redo long runs. The second step would be to seed it with your own knowledge. This is optional but a powerful step so you can open the knowledge garden and then drag in a few core files that you have such as your brand voice guide, past posts that you want to replicate success from, product, one pager, and then Flowith will break down these into seeds and then link them. Back on the canvas, you can flip the knowledge base to on so Neo can cite your own material while drafting. This is where the output starts sounding like you. If you've got nothing to upload yet, skip this for now and then you can add it later and rerun the draft. Onto the third step, we have to give Neo a concrete goal. So in the input box, you want to write a clear bounded request. This is one for example. After you click start, Neo will create a live recipe and then break the goal into subtasks, pick tools for search, read and extract, and then start working. You will see the steps show up as it executes. If a step fails or finds something better, it will adapt mid-run. No need to restart from scratch. A pro move here is that if you already know that you need web search, you want to enable those tools in the panel before you hit start. Flowith will show which tools are available and how they consume the credits. The next step would be to inspect, nudge, and then rerun smartly. So when the outline appears, you can ask for structure tweaks. So for example, you can promote use cases earlier or add a section. Is warm-up still necessary in 2025, for example? You can easily ask for voice fixes to match your brand voice if it doesn't. Ask some extra tips, for example, sound more confident, minimal, no buzzwords. Or ask for evidence, for example, to keep the strongest sources and inline cite them. Neo Agent will update the recipe and re-executes just those parts, not the whole thing. And that's the canvas advantage. You just change one node and the downstream branches update so that you don't lose the thread. 
I would recommend that you batch your edits into one message. For example, move X, add Y, shorten Z, and this will save steps and credits versus the piecemeal pokes. The next step would be to turn the research into a final draft. So when the outline looks right, you can ask for the full post. For example, write the full article, 1300 words, short paragraphs, H23s, H22s. Include internal links to our features page and a final call to action. For this one, you want to keep the output length at long for this pass. So if your knowledge base is on, you will weave in your uploaded voice and the facts. If it's off, you'll still get a clean draft, just more generic. And then from here, you can click the composer, the long form editor to polish the copy in a more traditional writing pane, no copy slash paste circus. And finally, I want to give some tips that actually save you time and credits. You want to use the recipe templates when they exist. So in the explorer slash community, you can search for blog plus SEO competitive analysis or product one pager and then click use this recipe and then confirm and run. It's faster than reinventing the wheel. You may also set output length intentionally, like I said, short for scoping and drafts, and long only when you are ready to pour credits into a complete output. Then you want to turn knowledge base on only when relevant. It is great for brand critical work, for generic tasks, you want to leave it off and keep the run simple. Finally, mobile control is real, there is an official Flowith iOS application, and that way you can monitor your progress, run agents, and even schedule tasks all from your phone. This can be very handy when you are away from the desk, so if mobile matters to you, install it and then pin your main canvases. Now finally, when it comes to the pricing, there is a free plan available that you can grab in the description below this video. You simply click on the link, create your account or login, and then you will get 1000 credits for one-time use. You will get access to the basic AI models, no advanced AI models, video models are not included either. But you will get the agent NEO 100 million token storage and 400,000 tokens per upload. If you opt in for the professional plan at about $20 per month, you get 20,000 credits per month. And then you get access to the advanced AI models and the video models as well. The ultimate plan at about $50 per month gives you 50,000 credits per month. And the last available plan is the infinite creator at $500 per month that gives you access to 500,000 credits per month. I gotta mention if you opt in for the yearly plans, you would end up saving 30% on the professional, 40% on the ultimate, and 50% on the infinite creator plans. So that's Flowith in practice, Canvas for parallel creation, Agent Neo for planning and execution, and Knowledge Garden for outputs that actually sound like you. As you saw through this video, the workflow is pretty simple. You flip agent mode on, set output length, and then decide whether to use your knowledge or give a one tired goal, and then steer the recipe with a few clear nudges. When you are ready to publish, you move it into the composer and then you just ship. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have found it to be helpful and informative to watch, then go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make relating to this one.